What's up guys, today we're gonna to talk about the best at-home grooming tools. What's up guys, welcome back to Gensange. I'm George, this is Alex. We are at his barbershop service and supply here in the Arch District of Los Angeles. And today we are talking about the best at-home grooming tools. So this conversation actually came up because I was in the barbershop, in the barber chair, and I saw that he used this Bronze Series 9, which is a consumer product. And I was like, is there a huge difference between professional and consumer goods? And you know, what is the best kit for your, for your home use? Because obviously you're doing 10, 15 haircuts a day, At least. and most people are trimming their beard once or twice a week, maybe. Pretty, pretty much. So yeah, we, I had Alex kind of tell me what products he uses and what we could find to use at home on a regular basis that's gonna last us more than you know a year and actually be able to be maintained. I get this question often actually from customers that want to you know, kind of do a little bit of self-maintenance at home, whether it's on their beard or eyebrows, other things. Um, but a lot of times they tell me that they, you know, whatever like clipper they picked up at, you know, whatever big box, you know, whether it be CVS, Walgreens. CVS, Target, exactly. Um, they've had it for about a year and it's kind of died out on them. They don't really know what to do. And I know that sometimes it seems a little scary because I start recommending, you know, professional grade clippers. And the reason for is they're still just as easy to use, except they're built a bit tougher. They're built for the long haul. And if I've had a clipper for literally, I have clippers I've had for 10 years now yeah. that I still use daily, um, you'll, you'll have it for a lifetime, right? Like something about the quality of it, it's, it's meant to last. Usually what ends up happening is guys will have some sort of trimmer that looks like this at home, where it has the attachments or it goes up and down. And this is our consumer grade one that we're gonna demo for you guys. Um, and they're just not built to do what you really need them to do. So this is what you know we would call a trimmer. It's not really a clipper, so what this does is this is really great for getting the lines in your beard or you know the, your neck, maybe the back of your head, uh, but it's not great for actually knocking down length. Right, so you shouldn't trim your whole beard with just a trimmer. Exactly, like I, I know it's in the name, however, it's really just good for, in the barber shop, we would use what we call an outliner, right? And it's basically the same kind of looking clipper, however, the outliner's just that, we outline with it, right? We outline the haircut, we outline the beard. That's what these types of clippers are best used for. So at home, like again, like a lot of what you buy looks like this and it's got all the attachable things and you wanna, tr you wanna clip down, you wanna trim it down. it looks like you can. Exactly. And but they wanna make you think you can as well. Exactly, but the reality of it is it's just not powerful enough. You're not gonna get the job done. Um, so usually what I recommend, a um, couple of my favorite clippers that I think are great for home use is the Wall Magic Clip, which is cordless. You can use it corded if you need to. Uh, what's really cool about this is it does come with all the extra bells and whistles, all the cards, all of these do. Um, it actually has a lever so you can open or close that blade, which will allow you to get a little bit more length out of a one or a two so you can actually play with it. Um, so it's like a like a one and a half or a two and a half. That's definitely a good and way to look at it. Which way is like open and closed? Because which way is shorter? I've always seen it and I can yeah. never, I didn't know. So this doesn't really change. Closed, usually we're gonna move the lever up. So it's and you closer notice, together. Exactly, the blade, the cutting blade is closer to the, the still stationary blade. And then if you open it, we're back to open. Something that's kind of a quick pro tip, if this is too loose, it might just close up on you when you want it open. So make sure you kind of maintain those screws and that you have some tension in there. Uh, so the Wall Magic Clip, one of my favorites, it's one that I use daily in the barber shop. The fact that it's cordless really makes it more right. versatile. Because I think this the this next one, the Fast Feed, yeah. is the pretty much the corded version of of this. Exactly. So the Fast Feed's like a classic Oster clipper. It's been used in barber shops for decades. Um, this is a strong little clipper. Yeah. Like you're going to be able to get through, um, you know, whatever it is you need to get through, whether you have, you know, a really tough beard, the texture, the density. This one will get the job done. The fact that it's corded actually does give it a bit more power. Um, so these are great for at home. The cordless is cool if you're traveling, you're gone for a weekend, you might need it, you might not. It's charged up, you're good to go. But they do hold up actually like 
I charge this thing daily, but it'll do five or six haircuts for me right. without having to charge, which is about three hours. And then, so that's what we're using to actually take down the beard, right? right. Uh, we wanna remove some length, remove some of that weight. We're gonna use a clipper. So these are more, prof these are professional, right? They are, yeah. But they're not crazy expensive. So all of these are under $100. I think the Magic Clip is 82, and the fast feed with the cord is like 63. So it's, right it's not crazy. I mean, most of us are paying 20 to $30 on a trimmer already. Yeah. So it's not a crazy jump and it's something that's gonna last you forever. And then I think this wall lithium ion is the consumer version of yeah. the Magic Clip and the Fast Feed. Yeah, so I think like, we found this and it had great reviews and it, it, it works really similar to you know, our Magic Clip where we have the lever that opens and closes. It's a little bit tighter, uh, maybe just from lack of use, it'll eventually loosen up. It looks like there might be a button there or cap if you wanna tighten it, get some tension on there. It's balanced nice, it's got good weight. These are also not very heavy, so don't be afraid of these. The one really cool thing about going to more of a commercial professional grade is that all of these parts are interchangeable, right? So yeah, we spent 80 bucks on this clipper today. Say you drop it, you break a tooth. It's $15 to buy a new blade. So that's honestly one of the better things about having these at home is that you can replace parts, you can replace cords. Right, because they update the this one every Ex six months and you're, you can't even get parts for these Exactly, anymore. so that is a cool thing. I do know that this uh, consumer clipper in particular was like a combo. Right, they, right? those came together. So we got both the trimmer and the actual clipper, the outliner that we use for lines and the actual clipper. I think the cost on this was like 60 bucks for the combo. Yeah. Comes with all the bells and whistles that you need. Um, so for a little bit more, you know, maybe we spend a hundred bucks and we get a professional grade outliner. Uh, this is the Andis Lithium Pro 2. Uh, comes with a really cool little dock that you charge that on, uh, and then a fast looks, feed. Looks great in your bathroom. It does, and these range like, I think like 35 to $45, depending yeah. on the model that you get. But you definitely need a combo of an outliner and a actual clipper to bring down the weight on that. To really, if you wanna do some trimming and some like true at-home maintenance, like if you're taking weight out, you want a clipper and if, you know, just to get those fine lines and kind of make sure everything is edged correctly, you want the edger or trimmer. Exactly, outliner edger. And then actually guys, the funniest thing about this is I think the most expensive product on our list is a consumer product. It really is. And this is the, the one right here that I saw in Alex's barbershop that he uses every day on the clients yeah. and it's lasted him. How long have you had yours? Uh, I've had mine for, I want to say a little over a year now and I do use it frequently. I know barbers have been using these Braun series shavers for like four or five years. It's the same one. Uh, although it is consumer, like you do replace some of these parts, these foils come new. Yeah. Um, this one's really nice. It is one of the more expensive ones because it has a dock kind of clean cleaning it station uh, and a charging station. It's completely wireless if you need it to be, which is the, why the cost on this goes up. But the quality of this is like next level. Um, what we usually use in a barbershop when it comes to a foil shaver is these wall kind of super close foil shavers. These are the pro grade ones. They work great. Not as good as a series nine. Um, but, but it's also a $200 difference. It, it really is, yeah. So. I think this is like somewhere between like 50 to $69, yeah. and this is a lot closer to 280, yeah, 300. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a difference there, but honestly, if you're talking for at home, this is the way to go. Uh, one of the cool things about this is it has a wet and dry feature. So if you want a wet shave, you can wet shave if you feel more comfortable with that. It does have this kind of cool <laughs> little um, like men in black-ish, uh, outline trimmer here, it'll get you out of a tough spot, not as So something. like on vacation it'll be okay, but yeah, you still it, need. I would still recommend an actual outliner. One more question, so what do you actually, in a barbershop, I mean I know what you use a razor for on a daily basis, but yeah. what do you use this for in a barbershop, just to like clean up fades and? So with the Bronze Series 9, we actually use it for like a real like skin tight razor fade. It comes in shorter and it's easier to use than like a traditional kind of Bic razor. Right. You know, we use or a like straight a, razor it, for the face, but that takes time and this just gets you like as smooth as can be. So a lot of times also we have guys that may have like some skin irritation issues from the razor. These are great because they don't cause ingrown hairs. 
um, and it gets you as close as you possibly can get, both wet or dry, which is really cool. Um, and also just for quick kind of cleanups is, is really what we use it for. Um, it's a workhorse, man. Like it really, I, I was impressed when I got this in my hands. Because, well, that's what made us do this video is that I saw it in the barbershop and I was like, like I've seen people that have that in their bathroom at home. Like, yeah. is it that good to be able to use it every day in a barbershop? And then I got curious and wanted to know what the best products were. Yeah. So that's why we were doing this video, guys. Pro tip, Sorry. it doesn't matter whether or not your clipper is consumer grade or professional grade. Maintenance is always going to have you have a longer lasting life in your clipper. We recommend a Cool Care disinfectant. There's a few brands out this. So this actually cools the clipper down when it gets too hot from active use. Not really an issue at home but it also kills bacteria and it helps to lubricate. So pick up a can of this, you know, uh, lubricate, cool care whenever you get your clipper. Also oil, a lot of times your clippers will come with a, a small little, tube of yeah. oil. Tiny drop right on the blade is really all you need at home. Maybe every fourth time you use it and make sure you dust off those loose hairs. They always come with a little mm -hmm. brush that you can use to dust off those loose hairs at the end of the day. Um, but definitely maintaining it with some lubricant and some oil will help you get a, like years out of any clipper, whether it's a consumer grade or pro model. That pretty much wraps up the video. I hope this was interesting. I hope you learned something. Um, we're gonna have links to all these down below. I think they're all available on Amazon. So we will link to these down below. You can check them out. If you guys are in Los Angeles, come say hi to Alex at Service and Supply. I will have a link to his barbershop down below. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram at Jen's Lounge yet, give us a follow over there and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.